All right, everyone, I want to talk about this reading passage that I had you do this week. Uh, I noticed uh, several of you were, were struggling with this one. By the way, I'm sorry that I don't have Miss Rogers to, to make this more entertaining, but uh, let's go ahead and, and go over this in, in uh, the few minutes that I have. So this is the one about pizza, pizza, the world's favorite food, question mark. Like, is it the world's favorite food? I think it is. Okay. Um, and right off the bat, I want to explain something to you on Azella and on, on a lot of uh, standardized tests. They'll have things like this. Did you see the blank right there for A, the blank right there for B, C, D, and E. And what that really means is uh, you're going to see in the question some sentences and where do those sentences fit. Okay. So I want to do those first. So it's actually this one, number two. Okay. Um, and remember, Miss Rogers gave us that advice that it's probably best not to read um, things first. It's better to, to look at the questions. So I'm actually going to do this one first without actually reading everything. Okay. So uh, let's look at this first one. It says that's more than $100 per American, right? So we see money, right? And we look at these blanks. And here it is. Look at this. I'm going to read this whole paragraph to you right here. Do I have my? No, I don't. At first, it was only popular with Italians. I assume they're talking about pizza. But by the late 1940s, Americans discovered a taste for it. Again, probably pizza. Today, they spend an, an incredible $37 billion a year on pizzas. Okay, they're talking about the people in America, right? So that's more than $100 per American. So each American spends more than $100. So that was sentence C. I know it gets a little confusing with all the all the letters. Okay, now look at this one. Letter B. Sometimes you don't have to pick it up; it's delivered to your home. I'm assuming that that's about pizza again. Okay. And where's that going to go? Let's see. Well, look over here. I'm going to start right here, this sentence that begins with the, the word in. In today's super fast society, people often don't have the time or energy to cook. So they order takeout. And very, so takeout, by the way, if you don't know, that's when you go to a restaurant, but you've already called the restaurant before and you've said, hey, I'm going to pick up uh, such and such a meal. Okay. And very often it's a pizza blah 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 if you don't even have time to sit down buy a single slice and eat it uh, eat it standing up okay so that one sometimes you don't have time to pick it up it's delivered to your home okay so that's going to go right here with e okay and so i've got three more uh, look at C. He was very worried they wouldn't like it, but they did. So he, we're looking for a person. And I'm just kind of scanning through. And I think I got it. Look, a famous baker from Naples made a special pizza for the Italian royal family. The sentence goes here. Uh, Queen Margarita loved the dish so much, the baker named it after her since then. So assuming that this baker is a man, right? Um, so could I put in between these sentences, he was afraid, let's see. He, or he was very worried that they wouldn't like it, but they did. So can you remember that? A famous baker from Naples made a special pizza for the Italian royal family. He was worried that they wouldn't like it, but they did. There you go. That one is a match and that was B. So B is C. All right. Uh, in Belgium, people eat chocolate pizzas with marshmallows on top. Okay. So right here, do you see in Sweden? They talk about how they what they what they eat on their pizzas in, in Sweden. Over here, Japanese is a, a Japanese. Japan is a nation of seafood lovers, so not surprisingly, they love octopus and squid. Australians sometimes cook. I okay, cook, cook choose kangaroo or crocodile. That sounds disgusting to me, but that's just my opinion. In the Philippines, they like mango on their pizza. So this one is going to go with what they do in Belgium. In Belgium, chocolate pizza doesn't sound bad, actually. 
I got to admit. All right, and then sentence A, what we ate 200 years ago was very different than what we eat today. Let's see if that fits over here. Food and the way we eat it is always changing as society develops. We learn new ways of growing, processing, and cooking food. What we ate 200 years ago was uh, was very different from, from what we eat today. Also, when people traveled, yeah. So they're talking about how, how food historically has changed. That one's going to be E. Okay, let me go back to number one. In which country is one? By the way, when they say is one, they mean someone, is a person. They're not talking about the number one. Is one most likely to find peanuts or bananas on their pizza? Um, so we're just looking for those keywords. Peanuts or bananas. And this is going to be in this paragraph, I think, right? About the the different foods that they have. There it is. Pizza and banana. Oh, sorry, peanuts. Peanuts and bananas. Um, it says in Sweden. In Sweden, for example, it is not unusual to have peanuts and bananas on your pizza. So there it is. Okay. And in fact, you can at least eliminate these two, Japan and Australia, because in the same paragraph, I just noticed before, right, Australians have kangaroo or crocodile, gross. Uh, in Japan, they, they've got uh, seafood, okay? And we live in the United States. I mean, have you ever seen peanuts or bananas on pizza? I have not. Okay. Uh, where was pizza first created? Make sure that you... Um, don't get confused with where was it made popular or, or, you know, where was the first pizzeria, which I think is a question later. Where was it first created? Um, and let's see, I think we can find it right here. The pizza we recognize today first appeared in Italy. Okay, now Italy is not on the list, right? But I can guess it's not going to be the Philippines. I can guess it's not going to be Japan. So it's either the U.S. or Naples. A famous baker from where? Naples made a special pizza for the Italian royal family. So Naples is, is your answer. Okay. And in fact, if you keep reading, does it mention the U.S.? Uh, over here, pizza began its journey in the, in the 1890s when many Italians moved to where? New York. Now, hopefully you know this. New York is in where? The United States. Okay. But it was first created... Here in Naples, okay? In which country is one most likely to find a kangaroo or crocodile on their pizza? I already know it's Australia, right? And I can prove it. Australians sometimes choose kangaroo or crocodile. And once again, that's disgusting. Okay, number five, what is the main idea of this passage? So what is everything about? What is it all about? This is where you might want to read everything, okay, to find the main idea. Um, I'm looking, I'm focusing on the title. So pizza, the world's favorite food. Um, it's always changing. Here's its origin in this paragraph. Um, how much money, uh, money Americans spend on it, how famous it is all around the world. And look at the, the last uh, paragraph. Pizza has come a long way from its beginning in an Italian city which was Naples, it has grown to become one of the most, uh, one of the world's favorite foods. Okay, so what's the best answer? I'm going to go DCPA. Even though pizza differs from country to country, it is probably the world's most famous meal. That sounds just like the title. I'm going to go with that one so far. Americans spent $37 billion per year on pizzas. That's not what the whole thing is about. It's, you, you don't get that. You don't walk away from, from, from the article saying that's it's all about how crazy Americans are about pizza. Queen Margarita loved pizza. That's a detail. Uh, what Australians put on their pizza is different from, uh, different than what the Philippines put on their pizza. Well, that's probably true, but again, that's a detail. Okay, in which country would one most most likely find squid and octopus? Well, I remember that in Japan they like to put seafood on their pizza, right? In fact, it says octopus and squid. So there it is, Japan. All right, and one more. Where did the first pizzeria open? I think we saw that. I think I pointed that out right here. Many Italians moved to New York in search of a better life. There they continued to make pizzas. And the first what? 
pizzeria opened in 1905. So it doesn't say New York, but it does say the United States. So hopefully you know that, that New York, again, is in the United States. And how'd we do? 100%. That never happens. Yay. All right. Please, please, please use these strategies to get better at, at, at reading and, and on these reading tests. Okay. I don't want to make these videos for nothing. Okay. So I do want to see you guys getting better and better at, at reading activities, even when um, you haven't seen them before. Okay. Because I really just want you to use the strategies. All right. Take care. Keep learning. Keep getting better. And bye-bye.